see a bag coming out on the carousel all open and it's upside down and you go oh that's what happened to me jack's gonna get this as a tattoo got to think the two of us were both alcoholic drug addicts and now you know these kind of things we're doing all the time it all seems too easy at the moment normally i'm so stressed so we depth the gig out yeah <laughs> get on the bus Ten thirty-seven. Flight was delayed. <laughs> An hour and a half. Flying to Manchester. And now I'm gonna get in late. Got to book a hotel. Day by the airport. Get on the bus. I love that it says fast track because it's taking me ten minutes to walk to there. Twelve thirty at night. I've just arrived in Manchester. So I'm playing a gig with Jack this Saturday. He's created a whole brand called Jazz in the Church. Started in his hometown of Allsaints, where I went and did the first one there. And then he had a problem with that church, and he moved it to Nutsford. And now he's started another one in Shrewsbury. Saturday night, playing at Shrewsbury Abbey. With the phone in from Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, everything's delayed flying in, but here I am. I've done so much flying, especially so much in the last kind of since the pandemic, that time where, where luggage got lost. I'd arrive in a country, I'd arrive in a country, do the gig, Friday, Saturday, fly back Sunday, my baggage wouldn't have arrived, but then I'd be flying out from another airport to another country on the Monday, so that I'd have to quickly buy another suitcase or pack another suitcase, fly out to the next country, work there for a week, and then when I arrived back, my baggage had gone missing again. That baggage had gone missing, but the other one had then been delivered, so I'd go and pick that one up. Two days later, get on another flight somewhere else. It was just a kind of from one bag to another, to another country, to another thing. Last time I came here, my bag, you know when you see a bag coming out on the carousel and it's all open and it's upside down, that's what happened to me. It came out and all my stuff was just out and I was just like, ugh. Hey ho, the funs of traveling. I started doing a thing called baggage bingo. Will my stuff arrive? Had a little theme tune as well. It's like a game show, it's like do 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 I got all excited because I thought that was mine. But actually it wasn't. I'm not out of it yet. Flight's been delayed, so now he's come in. Jack wasn't able to pick me up, but he was able to pick me up, but it means he'd have to stay up a lot later to come and get me. So I've booked a hotel. But you can already start to see that this is this is going to a gig. So there's little bits that people don't see, so it's already I can't get any public transport. I've had to book a hotel and now I've got to get a cab, but also everywhere's shut. To get food, although I've just found spark. Funny when you arrive at a place, I just immediately remember it. It's somewhere I stayed when I used to take lots of uh, drugs and things like that. <laughs> that was close, so there's my phone at reception. I recognise this hotel. I remember staying here with bad manners in my old days when I was not drinking but partying with some other things. I was looking for a number that doesn't exist. For 34 quid. Just doesn't matter, does it? I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna have a sleep. Ready. I'm up, awake. Jack's here. Whee! In the pandemic, there was loads of things that started. I did a live stream called The Sunday Service. We started a whole community. And Jack did live at Jack's place. This is Jack's place. Jack's storage room now. Now it's Jack's storage room. She's shown the, uh, the tattoo that I'm gonna get on my back one day, which is actually on the wall over there. Jack's gonna get this as a tattoo. <laughs> it's fantastic. Mental. Loads of things came out of it. Like you started live at Jack's place on a Wednesday night, January 2021. It's good. It's Hundreds of people watching. Yeah, I miss it. Yeah, I actually miss it. Yeah. <laughs> I've done a few live streams since then, but it's just like, and we did, first one that we did here, that was, you know, that's actually about two years ago. The first one that I did with yeah, you. Yeah, it keeps coming up as... Um, keeps right. coming up. And we got, when we were doing Facebook events, we had over, I think there was over 200 people tuned in on that one. 
Yeah. Uh, what have we got coming up? Jazz in the church tomorrow. Shrewsbury Abbey. Yes. Um, How many tickets sold? About 300. I, if you want a ticket, well, then... No, this is going to be afterwards. You can't, sell, you can't sell tickets on this. It's going to come out after we've done the gig. Anyway, so we're here just getting things ready. I say we are. He's getting everything ready. Spent a lot of time in here. It's like home, isn't it? So it's gig day. This is where Jazz in the church is. It's Shrewsbury Abbey. That's the biggest one yet, Definitely isn't it? the biggest one. That's a good parking yeah. game. This? <laughs> no, that's pretty good. Got a bit. trap. One of the wonderful things when you put on a gig, and Jack has nailed it here with this, is that when, when the evening's all happening, all the stress leading up before it, and it's like, oh my God, this, that, that. And then suddenly you get a venue like this, he's sold over 300 tickets, but it's like, and the only reason anyone is here is because of all the hard work that he's done, you know, and he's been out, he's been flying around everywhere. So he's got to know loads of people, really helping local businesses. Everyone in the area knows who he is, you know, and it's a great thing. And you've got to think the two of us were both alcoholic, drug addicts, and now we're you know, these kind of things we're doing all the time. Last time I was in Shrewsbury was with Bad Manners, but I was drinking, can't really remember it anyway. Well, this is exciting. I'm going to see Shrewsbury Abbey for the first time. I mean, I've seen it outside. I like what you've done with the place, Jack. Promoting the show here tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not my usual sort of person. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> wow. How wonderful. Oh, mate, this is amazing. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Done it. Um, Steve, you are here from the Abbey. Can I'm you here from the Abbey. Can you tell me how old the Abbey is? Yes, well, it's in different ages, but the oldest bit uh, was uh, is nearly a 1,000 years old. Wow. Oh built my gosh. in the year 1083. Amazing. Fact, if you want to turn slightly there, you see these big, wide yeah. Norman arches. They were built by, by monks from Normandy in 1083. 1083. Wow. Yep. So it's pretty old. Going from promoting bad manners shows to promoting jazz gigs yeah. and playing on gigs. This is much more stressful than bad manners. I always forget that I'm playing on the bad manners shows, and you, I think you forget that I'm playing because I remember you saying before, I forget that you've got to go and do the gig yeah, as well, yeah. which is quite good because then you're not really thinking about the gig. But, but there's a lot going on. Yeah, it's much better when there's someone who can look after stuff for you. Yeah, it's like my hundred club gig the other night, just knowing you're there, yeah, that's yeah. someone you can. Well, if we're both actually playing on this. Yeah, we're both playing, so we're not in control of anything. <laughs> How are we going to cope? How are you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling. Really? Yeah. A bit tired, but relaxed. But you feel relaxed and happy about everything. Yeah. Are you sort of worried about what is the thing you've forgotten? Totally. It all seems too easy at the moment. Normally, I'm so stressed. But you don't look stressed. Just go so. to bed. So we depth the gig out? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing on Monday? Riding to Portugal on my motorcycle because it's too cold in the UK. But what will happen is absolutely piss it down for the whole journey until I get to both Malaga and then I'll be on my way. Yeah, I'm to Spain first. I'm from where Malaga is in Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he corrected himself. The jazz in the church in Shrewsbury Abbey. They've just gone on stage. That little bit before you go on stage. Time for me. Just like that, it's time for the
Bye bye, Steve. <laughs> Jasmine in the church, Shrewsbury oh. happy? Yeah, very happy. Too happy when I get to McDonald's. The last video we did together, we went off to McDonald's. We did after we had yeah. a successful gig. Oh, well, McDonald's. Yeah. Manchester Airport. Leave the drinks. Only caught to 11. Leave. Yeah. The UK. Yeah, both of us this time. Bye, everybody. <laughs> That's the end. All right, mate. Thanks for today. Safe travels to Portugal on the motorbike. Yeah. Uh, safe travels, bye. Just like that, here we are again. Leaving. See how delayed this one is. Well, thanks for joining me. Nice to come back to the UK for two days. See you soon. Bye.